the biggest thing that I'm talking to lawyers about right now is kind of what they can do right now with the, the resources that they have. I mean, this, this thing right here is probably one of the most powerful uh, tools that anyone has right now. So what are you kind of talking to your clients about and what are you, what kind of advice are you giving lawyers uh, in terms of kind of what to do, like what they can do like today if they wanted to? Yeah. So, so as it relates particularly to, uh, to marketing. Yeah. Okay. So, so this is an interesting time in the sense that I think the biggest thing is relevancy and, and staying relevant uh, and, and, and really keeping the, I guess, staying top of mind. I think the first step, first and foremost, is letting people know that you're, you're still open and you're still in existence. So making sure to actually call all of your clients. Hopefully everyone's already done that at this point. But if you haven't, I think that's a really great start. That and then referral sources. Um, but the other thing is really looking at this time from the standpoint of, okay, if you're a personal injury lawyer, yes, there's likely less cars on the road. There's less auto accidents taking place. Um, while some firms you know, have the opportunity to bring in more new business right now, there are some practice areas where that has either significantly declined or, or gone to zero because of the quarantine and because of the nature of things. But that doesn't mean that you can't do things that will help you like with the firm today and into the future. So right now, I think one of the biggest things that you can do is just put out great content from your firm. So like great brand content. I'll give you just a few examples. Like if you've probably seen us doubling down on content, um, but you know, uh, an example could be doing a, a dial in like this one, just interviewing experts in, in your industry, you know, with other referral partners. What are some of the things they're doing to survive right now? Um, reaching out to, let's say 10 to 20 of your best clients and asking them to send you a, a 30 second testimonial that you can use for social proof. Um, there's other things you could start a podcast, you can put out, you know, as it relates specifically to video, um, one of the things is just showing uh, a prospective clients how you are operating right now, how your team is working remotely, just so they know that you know, you're not just open for business, but you're able to still support them and work with them and that you've made the shift to remote, that you could either do Zoom calls with your clients just to remain accessible. I think that's probably the first, you know, the, the first big push. Um, we've also seen a number of firms doing things in their communities where they're challenging one another across markets. Like we have a, a, a firm that challenge the firm to uh, deliver 222 pizzas to uh, an area hospital. And then they came back and asked them to deliver 777 pizzas to, uh, to Boston hospitals because those are like their phone numbers. One was all twos, the other was all sevens. And those got picked up by the media. Um, not only was it big on social, it was big on TV to, just to show that you are making a positive impact. But the, the main thing of this, if, I think if anyone takes away anything from the marketing standpoint, if we're talking about social in particular, it's kind of like the stock market, like ads are on sale. You know, ads are, you know, in many cases, 30% off or more. Um, so from the CPM standpoint, so you're able to get, you know, you're able to, to spend less to reach the same amount of people. The other thing is consumption is way up. So the reality is if you're putting out this content right now on social media, a lot of people are consuming it. So it's a great time if you've been dialing back, let's say on marketing before, this is a great time to step it up. If you have been marketing, this is a great time to consider doubling down just because you can, you can really reach a lot of people right now for a much lower cost than you used to be able to, let's say two months ago. And that's just because a lot of advertisers pulled out. But the, the idea is that the things that you do today, you can sell you know, a prospective client today and just collect on that later. Um, if you're in a position where you're not signing cases today. If you are, I think more than anything, it's putting out content that's supportive. That's, that's you know, when we look at value, it's not posting what, what your latest verdict was, you know, a seven or eight figure verdict but you know, things that could be beneficial to people. So if it's, you know, it's a referral sources, letting them know that you're there to help them. Some of the smaller firms in particular right now, um, they're really struggling and they could benefit from sending cases to, you know, let's say a larger firm. Um, if you're looking at marketing towards clients, um, letting them know how you're operating right now and that they can continue to uh, communicate with you, that you're, you guys really aren't skipping a beat. But in the absence of those things, people just don't know. Like they don't know that you're open. We saw you know, a, a large number of law firms just vanish seemingly from the internet and who, like, I don't know if they're still in business, but I wonder if their clients do.